As blockchain technology has gained popularity, the number of transactions stored on most platforms has increased significantly. For instance, the Ethereum blockchain was just over 5 gigabytes in April 2016, but expanded to more than 220 gigabytes by April 2021. During those five years, millions of transactions were broadcasted to the blockchain. And because blockchains are decentralized ledgers of historical transactions, running a node, which stores the entire history of the blockchain, has required greater computing power and energy as the blockchain grows. This has often made it increasingly difficult for average users to participate in the upkeep of the blockchain. Many believe this might have opened the blockchain to centralization risk, as those with the greatest computing power are most efficient in managing the large size of the chain. In response to this issue, Nina's developers used a cryptography technique called ZK Snarks to create a payment-oriented blockchain that does not require each node to record the complete record of historic transactions. This effectively lowers the computational requirements needed to support a full blockchain network. Furthermore, Mina reasons that, if more users can run nodes and validate transactions, more nodes would be created which would support the network in becoming more decentralized and secure. With that said, let's look into how the Mina works. The key to Mina protocol is the incorporation of ZK SNARKs, which stands for Zero Knowledge Succinct Non-Interactive Arguments of Knowledge. This is a computing concept first developed by MIT professor and Algorand founder Silvio Micheli that allows users to confirm they have certain data without revealing that data to each other. Another popular cryptocurrency that uses ZK Snarks is Zcash. However, in Mina's case, this means that the network does not have to verify a transaction with every block that is created. Instead, the blockchain is represented with an easily verifiable cryptographic proof, the ZK Snark. This proof is much smaller than most other blockchains and represents the state of the whole chain, rather than the latest block. Combined with a proof-of-state consensus mechanism, Mina claims their implementation of ZK Snarks significantly cuts down on the resources needed to process and record transactions. In order to send and receive transactions on the Mina network, each participant is required to run a node. Additionally, Mina protocol requires two specialized nodes within the network to run effectively. First are the block producers who select which transactions to include in the next block and win that block's reward. In that way, they are like the miners or validators of other blockchains. The second nodes are the SNARK workers, they dedicate computing power to help compress network data and generate proofs of transactions. Block producers can then bid on these proofs, for which SNARK workers are paid in MENA. Now let's by discussing MENA token. MENA is the token used by MENA protocol to execute network transactions. Users can exchange MENA like any other cryptocurrency, or choose to stake their MENA to earn a reward while securing the network. MENA also serves as the payment medium of the MENA protocol, incentivizing block producers to create blocks and rewarding SNARK workers who prove transaction validity. MENA token is also used to interact with SNAPS, which is a decentralized application built on the MENA protocol. For instance, Teller, one of the first-ever SNAPs, is a credit risk platform that helps users prove their credit scores are above certain thresholds necessary for traditional financial services such as loans, without sharing their private data. The initial supply of MENA was 1 billion tokens, with the current circulating supply of 588,516,938 MENA. The total supply will increase over time, but inflation is set to decrease from 12% to 7% over the first five years. With a current market cap of about $479,068,802 and an all-time high of about $9, it shows the project might be something to look out for. Kindly note that this is not a financial advice but for educational purposes. What is the Harmony blockchain? Harmony is an effective proof-of-stake blockchain founded in 2018 by Stephen Say with a mainnet launch in 2019. Like most post-Ethereum networks, it claims to solve the blockchain trilemma of decentralization, scalability, and security. Harmony's answer to the problem is sharding and its effective proof-of-stake consensus mechanism. Another key Harmony platform feature is its cross-chain finance model. The popularity of cross-chain and multi-chain capabilities has increased dramatically today, and Harmony caters to this as well. The blockchain offers bridging services between BNB Smart Chain, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and other networks. Harmony's main vision for scaling Web3 relies on zero-knowledge proofs and decentralized autonomous organizations, DAOs. So, how does Sharding and Harmony work? 
One of Harmony's keys to providing security, scalability, and decentralization is sharding. The Harmony sharding splits the network into four sections that work in parallel. Users can choose the shard they want, which distributes the network's workload. Validation, transactions, block creation, and staking are all done separately on each shard. Harmony currently has a limit of 250 validator slots per shard known as BLS keys. If needed, the number of shards and validators can increase to meet network demand in the future. Shard 0 is the beacon chain and acts as an information relay between shards 1, 2, and 3. No matter the shard used, transaction times will be roughly 2 seconds. Now, look into let's... how effective proof-of-stake work. Effective proof-of-stake is similar to the standard proof-of-stake validator and delegator model. Validators stake Harmony's native token to run a node and possibly process transactions through an election process. Delegators stake their one behind a validator in return for a percentage of future block rewards and transaction fees. Once elected and assigned a shard, the validator creates blocks and shares its rewards with delegators. Effective proof-of-stake's reward distribution is what makes it different. Most proof-of-stake systems consolidates rewards and power behind a small number of validators. The more you stake, the more you earn and validate. In contrast, effective proof-of-stake reduces rewards and penalizes validators who stake too much in a single node. Nodes with smaller stakes actually receive more favorable rewards in relation to their size, encouraging large validators to decentralize. This system also helps avoid single points of failure. Besides offering a secure method for validating transactions, effective proof-of-stake provides low gas fees. This makes it an attractive alternative to Ethereum's high gas fees or Bitcoin scalability issues with proof-of-work. Although we are yet to see how the new Ethereum 2.0 handles fees. Let's round Looking up into Harmony native token, called 1. The Harmony protocol's native token, 1, is used for paying network transaction fees, staking as a delegator or validator in return for block rewards and taking part in Harmony's open governance mechanism. Harmony provides a constant reward to validators of 441 million won annually. Transaction fees are burned with an end goal of creating a net zero state, offsetting the one provided for block rewards. One has a total supply of about 13.1 billion, with a current circulating supply of about 12.3 billion, a market cap of about $248 million. .1. Whether you're an investor, DeFi DAP user, or staker, Harmony has a solid ecosystem to explore and get involved with. Even at its current roadmap stage, there's a lot to use and discover. With more cross-shard capabilities coming in the future. The fact is that there are other competing blockchains with the same project, although many of them are using a different protocol. You can go through our video to see some of these projects, therefore, Harmony would need to do even more to become more dominant among its competitors. Let us know what you think about Harmony on the comments section. Like this video and subscribe to this channel, don't forget to turn on your notification to get notified each time we post a video. Thank you for watching, see you next time.